Evolution of the Internet If you're watching this video, then you're among the billions of people using the internet. Unfortunately, not many know what the internet is all about and where it came from. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. The internet is a worldwide system of interconnected computer networks that use the TCP IP set of network protocols to reach billions of users. Here's where it all began. The beginning. It all started with ARPANET on October the 29th, 1969, when the first successful message was sent from a computer at UCLA to another computer at the Stanford Research Institute, the SRI during one of the military projects. These computers were called Interface Message Processors, IMP. It was then called the NSFNet project, and it aimed to promote research and education. Eventually, ARPANET and NSFNet got decommissioned, thus paving the way for the commercialization of the internet. The internet would not have achieved this mass adoption if not for the success of these five important developments. IP, Internet Protocol, a standard set of data communications protocols used on the internet. World Wide Web and HTML, this is credited to Tim Berners-Lee, who developed a system that would allow documents to be linked to other nodes. The beginning of HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, Hyperlink, which are links to the information stored on other computers in the network, which can be accessed by typing www followed by the domain name servername.com. Browser. The World Wide Web would be useless if not for a software program called a browser. The early development of the web browser started with Mosaic in 1993. Eventually, more robust features, like the Microsoft Internet Explorer, evolved in 1995 with a new generation of browsers like Mozilla. Search engines. To get information and content from the internet, search engine software were needed. The early days of searching began with Gopher. It became less popular when browser-based search engines emerged. Other web-based systems evolved like Lycos, Yahoo, and Webcrawler. And then Google appeared towards the late 1990s and became the most popular search engine. Internet service providers. The early days of the internet required a dial-up modem connected to a telephone line with data speeds of 14.4 to 28.8 kilobytes per second. That was sufficient to meet the data demands during the late 80s and early 90s since most internet was text-based. As the internet grew more popular and businesses began to adopt it, more content required faster data speeds. This led to internet service providers, ISPs, beginning with the likes of AOL, bundling service by mailing free CD software to encourage users to sign up. The internet today. Gone are the days when you can access the internet loosely. It now requires an ISP for the majority of users. As commercial interests grew along with internet use, many platforms emerged that became known as social media. The giants in this game, Facebook, Google, Twitter, Telegram, YouTube, and more recently, Snapchat and Instagram. Facebook began to use its clout to buy up smaller companies and use their features. It attempted to buy out Snapchat, but instead acquired Instagram and started incorporating Snapchat features. It became clear that Facebook with 2.2 billion plus users, as of this video, is far ahead. Another platform like YouTube allows users to upload videos. It also has a content controlled policy by YouTube to weed out harmful content, which is a good practice. So the policy is always something that social media platforms impose on users. These may be apps, but they are the reason many people are using the internet. Without these platforms, there would be fewer ways to share or convey information. The future of the internet. Experts say the internet will continue along its phenomenal growth path despite the current global economic crisis. What's different is that the internet will become increasingly mobile and social, as more people will access the internet via cell phones than PCs. Their favorite activities will be chatting, streaming, blogging, downloading music, games, videos, and ringtones, rather than searching the web or sending an email. Now you know what the internet is and how it got started, what do you think is next for the net? Let us know. 
by joining the discussion via the comments section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share.